hi guys. I'm going to uh, explain to you, or we're first going to make some solutions that we're going to need for the staining of the cyst. And the solutions we're going to make are, um, first of all, a 0.9% saline solution, sodium chloride, or normal salt. Um, and we're going to make a 1% iodine solution, and this is to actually stain the cyst. Um, as I guess you don't have a very accurate scale, I'm going to demonstrate it with a normal kitchen scale, a sensitive one. It should be able to measure um, units of one gram at least. Um, so that's the scale. Um, we need some normal salt, sodium chloride, and I got here some regular betadine, some iodine solution that you use for disinfecting wounds. Um, check the concentration on the bottle. This one is 100 milligrams per milliliter. Um, that's a 10% solution. Um, so we're going to eventually have to dilute this one 10 times uh, to get to the uh, 1%. And, but we'll start out with making the saline solution because that's also going to be the basis of the iodine solution. So first we're going to make a 0.9 uh, percent solution um, of sodium chloride. For that we would ideally weigh 0.9 grams and put in 100 milliliters of water, but as our scale cannot measure that, we will first make a 9 percent um, solution. So for that it's very easy, we take a piece of paper and you fold it which makes it easier to pour out later. Um, you measure 9 grams of sodium chloride. It's quite a bit. That's 9 grams. As you can see, quite a bit. You take your flask. And using the funnel, you get that all in there. So then you want to dissolve this in 100 milliliters, um, which is also easy. You can just weigh it, it's the most accurate. So there's your scale, and then pour water in there again you pour 100 milliliters so 100 grams of water in your bottle Take that a bit to dissolve everything. It should dissolve fairly quickly. Good. And um, so what we want to do now is dilute this guy. 10 times, so we end up from, go from 9% to 0.9%. For that you, again, it's easier to just to weigh it, it's more accurate. So you put the bottle on the scale, you tear it to zero, then you pour 10 milliliters or 10 grams into the bottle of, the, of your freshly made saline solution. Don't spill.
Pat and Rams. And what you want to do is now add water to 100 milliliters. So the total should be 100 milliliters, so you want to add 90. that well um, and there you go now we want to make the iodine solution and we're going to make that um, using this uh, glass jar you can also use a plastic one I, in this case I prefer to use a glass one um, we take our original solution so this one is, ten, is a 10% solution and we're going to make this dilute this this solution with the uh, sodium or with the sodium chloride that we just made with the 0.9 percent. And this is very important. Otherwise, um, basically a lot of bacteria and other things in the sample eventually, if you put them in water, they will they may explode, and this will give a lot of debris, and you cannot uh, make any sense of your sample. So what we're going to do is dilute this guy. Uh, or you dilute the iodine 10 times with the sodium chloride solution. So for that I will put in 5 milliliters, so that's 5 grams in the bottle. So I'll give it just a nice squeeze. That's 4. That's 5. And then we will add 45 milliliters of um, the saline solution. So it will make up a total of 50. So then we have diluted it enough. with iodine is that you preferably store it in a, a dark bottle so it's a bit protected from light and that way you can store it for longer otherwise it may slowly break down and you can of course also store it in a dark cupboard or anything that should be, do the trick as well but I prefer to use um, a brown bottle and um, also because it has one of these small pipettes in it which will be come in handy later when we do the staining. So for now I'm just going to pour this mix, swirl the solution a bit and then just get it in this bottle. There we go. set. We have the iodine for the staining, we have the sodium chloride. Um, I'll explain I'll explain a bit about the microscope next and then after that I'll show you how to make samples or prepare the samples uh, on the glass slides and we'll have a look under the microscope to, so you know what you're looking for. It will be a bit experimenting I've never done this plus I'll have to improvise a bit because of course I don't have a contaminated stool sample that contains cyst uh, so I'm going to experiment a bit whether I can show it with yeast which looks under the microscope quite similar to uh, the cyst of the uh, Giardia, uh, Giardia uh, always, uh, cyst we'll, we'll give it a try and see what works so that's for now.